you want to blend all these images together, it's simple. Just cut the images precisely, correct the lightness of each element to match the whole scene. Next, let's correct the colors and saturation, bring this beautiful sun, and of course we need to draw its lights, and obviously the shadows. Then let's put this atmosphere effect to create depth, and finally let's put the final effects and final color grading to match the whole scene. So without wasting any more time, let's dig into business. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Noor and this is Noor Art Channel. Alright, let me just quickly tell you what we're going to do in this video. We're going to create this visual out of all these images. So let's start with the idea itself. Basically, this is a shampoo product. We want to show that this is a natural product. So I wanted to immerse the product itself in some natural, beautiful scene, which will show the idea that this is a natural product. That's it. By the way, guys, this is gonna be like a breakdown for me explaining how I did this visual. But if you want a step-by-step -step tutorial for me explaining every tiny step, you will find it in my ultimate course in the link in the description, in addition to other visuals like this. And I'm adding some lessons from time to time for you to practice it with me. You will find also all the stock images used, all the brushes used, the PSD files, all the materials used to create these designs. The link is in the description and let's start with the design. So I start with this beautiful noontime sky and the reason why I chose the noontime is that at any visual, if you are in the known time, you will find that the colors of the elements are very saturated and bright. You can notice it here at the dark times, you will find the elements desaturated and bluish, it's dull. And at the sunset time, you will find the elements color shifted towards more uh, yellowish or orangey. But at the known time, you will find that the elements are very bright and colorful. And I wanted to put this effect to show the product, which is the focal point, the colors of the nature. Okay, so I started by um, making the sky brighter by using uh, curves. I just uh, brightened the mid-tones and at the same time started to put like a bright spot here. And I don't like the colors of the sky. I want to shift them toward more cyanish colors. That's why I used color balance. So I shifted the colors towards more greenish, um, somehow bluish cyanish colors, not too yellowish orangey tones. Okay, and then used hue saturation to desaturate it a little bit. And next I started to darken this area. The next element I wanted to put these very far away atmospheric mountains. I don't like this part. I don't like it because it's visually imbalancing the image. That's why I started to take a copy of the same image and then create a clipping mask and put it inside the image itself. Okay, now as you can see the colors needs to be shifted towards more cyanish colors. That's why I created color balance layer and added some cyans, some greens and uh, in the midtones and the same thing into the shadows. That's how I corrected the colors. Here is before, it's more bluish and here is after more cyanish and it's already blended with the sky. That's why I like to start with the sky at first because I want to reflect the lightness or the mode of the sky into each element later. Very nice. Next I put this lake part and uh, the way I selected these edges is by a tree brush. So using a brush and with uh, creating a mask, I just paint over the areas where I want to put the trees and removed it from where I don't want. Very nice. Now I want to correct the colors and the lightness of this part. So I started using the curves. I opened up the shadows and I shifted the colors towards more uh, yellowish hot colors. So I shifted the colors toward more reddish and more yellowish uh, or greenish and somehow bluish. And then painted with uh, a very soft 
rounded brush. So here is before, here is after. And next I used curves to make this area bright to separate it from the product, which will we will see later in the video. Uh, next, I, I don't like how this part looks because we want to create some atmosphere effect behind the trees to separate between the mountains and the trees. That's why I created this hazing effect layer. This is basically a solid color layer painting with a soft rounded brush like this. Just put this part. Okay, so let's see here's before and here's after now they are separated from each other. And by the way, don't worry about these parts because they will not be visible at the end, okay? Next, I started to put some light effects using this solid color layer with a screen blending mode. Just make it pop more. So at any visual, I like to make three layers of depth. The background, which is the mountains, the midground, which is the lake and these trees, and the foreground, which will be the main product and the trees. So I started by putting this ground into the foreground. And let me show you the main picture. This is the main picture. I selected this area here using the grass brush as well. So let me show you. So this is the grass brush it started to mask some parts like this. This is the easiest way I find to select like irregular shapes like grass, clouds or whatever. So I started to duplicate this layer and put it to the left, this one to put it here and then started to take another copy and put it right here. Very nice. Now it's time to correct everything to match the whole scene, the colors, the saturation and uh, the lightness. I started with the hue saturation because this green is very saturated so I used hue saturation to shift its colors and to desaturate it a little bit. So I shifted the colors towards more uh, yellowish and more orangey colors and at the same time I shifted the saturation towards more desaturated color. So here is before and here is after and it's somehow contrasty and dark so I started to make it brighter by opening up the shadows and the midtones. So here is before, here is after and next I started to darken these areas, the very close parts using curves as well. Next I brought this image of the trees and the reason why I chose this image with this shape is that I, I want the composition to be like centralized around the product which will be here. So I want something to frame the composition and it should be at the same time an interesting element. Next I started to open up the shadows as you can see right now the shadows here are very dark using curves I just open up the shadows a little bit and next started to shift the colors these are very subtle adjustments but believe me guys the tiny differences is that what makes your visual good at the end okay very nice the next element will be these trees at the left and I started by making it dark and at the same time uh, making the absolute darks uh, a little bit brighter. So I, sh I opened up the shadows a little bit as you can see right now and at the same time I darkened the whole image. Then I started to correct the colors. Of course these colors need to be shifted towards more yellowish a little bit. So I shifted the colors using color balance. I, sh I added some yellows. And, uh, and the shadows as well added some yellows. And uh, I selected these trees using the same technique I used before with a grass brush. As you can see, this is a grass or a plants brush. I just selected it. Here. So let me show you, here's before and here's after. Before and after. Next, I put this, the product itself, which is the focal point. And then I started to put some elements to the right and to the left of the product to put it into the scene, okay? So I put this tree to the left and these trees to the right and these to the left, a bunch of trees and bunch of layers 
to immerse the product into the environment okay and then started to correct the colors saturation the lightness and everything at the same way okay so let me show you an example in this part starting with U saturation and curves and for this one the same thing and the same thing for this one the next element will be this tree truck so this is the main image I used and I liked how it looks because the lighting in the image itself is kind of soft and you can put the light later the way you want okay that's why I chose this color and at the same time it has a good shape okay so I started to cut this image and put it into separate parts here's the first part and here's the second part and then started to put some plants here and there using this image of the plants this one and this one here I didn't put any effects in this part yet because I wanted to explain it using the source of light the main source of light in this visual will be this sun so how did I create it? this sun is basically using this lens flare image and I put it right here using the screen blending mode and I reduced its opacity okay so this was the main image and then started to reduce the opacity and put some hue saturation adjustments and change the blending mode into screen that's it so because we have this source of light the main source of light this sun we distribute the light according to this source of light so here we have the light coming from the top left we should have some lights here and these areas should be dark the same thing for the tree truck here should we we should have some um, lights and here as well and here we should have some shadows the same thing here some lights here and some shadows over there and the same thing for the product itself some lights here and if you want to know how to draw light and shadow precisely I have a full video for this you will find it in the link in the description so we should have lights here some shadows over there and some overall shadows right here okay so let me show you how I did so let's start with this left tree I darken these areas and I find that it doesn't need a lot of adjustments actually so I just darkened these edges and that's it and at the same time I felt like I want something here composition wise because this area looks like it's uh, empty so I put this plants image and started to correct its lightness and its color next I started to paint light and shadow here in this tree so I started to paint shadows over these areas and here some bright spots as you can see all this I've done using curves so it's simple curves adjustments maybe sometimes I'm shifting the colors towards more reddish and some adding some yellow and some greens just to give it some warm touch very nice and the same thing I've done into this grass part okay so this sun should reflect some lights here into the grass and here that's what I have done using curves as well and at this time I shifted the colors into more blue, uh, yellowish and reddish colors and at the same time greenish before and after before and after next i started to paint light and shadow in this truck area i'm doing every adjustment all the adjustments using curves as you can see and then started to paint lightness as you can see here here's the light painting and here's the shadows and for the shadows I shifted its colors towards more reddish orangey tint because I don't like uh, shadows to be like very dark without any color I like to give it a color from the surrounding so we have here a reddish dark shadows as you can see let me show you before and after now it's time to put all the adjustments for the product itself so let's start by putting some very subtle shadows over here 
using curves and then started to paint the overall shadows of the product okay so i painted this using the uh, soft rounded brush and putting in mind the direction of the light so we should have some shadows in these parts and we want to put in consideration the form or the shape of the product so this sh this part is rounded okay so we we should have shadows up to this edge we don't we don't want to have shadows here okay the same thing here we we put shadows in this area because it of course the truck will cast some shadow but we need the shadow shape to be like rounded like this because we want to put in consideration the form or the shape of the product itself okay so this is the shadow layer and i've done this using simple curves adjustment like this and another one for the highlights so also let me show you here's before the after basic painting of the light but i didn't paint it over this area because it will not have light from the sun okay that's all and then i noticed that the product itself is a little bit dark so i started to make it brighter and more yellowish color i noticed that this area i don't like how it looks so i i put this uh truck and started to correct its colors this plant needs some adjustments that's how i corrected its colors lightness and it's basically the same process again and again yeah i guess you got the point okay next i wanted to create like a framing or a focus effect onto the um, product itself that's why i got this image of the plant to be in the close foreground so i put this image here and corrected its color and lightness using hue saturation and using curves and then i put gaussian blur to make the effect of the lens you know in the camera i put one here and another one to the right next i brought these uh, birds because i, I want to put uh, different colors you know some reddish some orangey colors that's the main reason it's composition wise and color wise uh, choice okay and at the same time this adds to the story of the design then i started to desaturate them and color correct them a little bit and one final thing i put final layer into multiply blending mode to create like shadow uh, area here this area should be a little bit darker that's why i put this layer very subtle shadows and finally started to put some glow effect and some lens flare effects some color grading using selective colors adding some cyan's to the shadows because i've noticed that the shadows have a lot of threads uh shifted colors so i went to the blacks added some cyans to the neutrals shifted the colors towards cyans and here is the final results here is before and after and finally put the color contrast brightness contrast adjustment layer to increase the overall contrast of the design so yeah this is the final result so here is before blending and here is after all right guys as mentioned if you want the full length tutorial of, of this design fully narrated in english you will find it in the link in the description along with all the stock images used the psd files and all the brushes used all right guys thanks for watching and see you in next tutorials peace